Hi, I'm Sharon Bridgeforth. Welcome to this week's That Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle Reading. This is an ocean deck, so it's about what's under the surface. It is an ancestor deck, so it's all about love. And for this week's reading, I will pick three cards representing beginning, middle, and end of week. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the mermaids want to say. And for more about this oracle deck and the project, just click on the link below. That Black Mermaid Man Lady. All right. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right. So here we go. Beginning of the week. David talking about purpose. So this week and the month of September, probably in general, is an awesome opportunity to focus, to hunker down, to do work that serves your life's purpose. And David says dance. And that's what David said last week too. So come on now, we got to dance. David says clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Get you a good clave beat going or whatever moves your soul and dance. And the truth is, is dancing takes you out of your intellectual head, which we are grateful that we have, but sometimes it also, um, we run into blocks, particularly around purpose, around us believing that what we can offer is enough, um, for us believing that we are enough, for us believing that our contributions can make a difference. So you wanna get out of, sometimes, out of your intellectual head and into your body, your spirit, your soul, your blood. And so dancing does that very fast. So beginning of the week, dance, so you can root in your purpose. Now, David done told us twice about that. Um, middle of the week, it's David again, talking about purpose. David says alchemy, and really, I would say that with this, David is offering um, inspiration for us to, again, move our bodies, and in moving our bodies, move our spirits, and to do something that feels ceremonial. David pour he spirits on ground, say rest. David pour he spirits on head, say rest. David spit he spirits round the room, say rest. David said, it done, rest. David say, it so, rest. David say, it is. We say, yes, we gonna let it rest. This can be about putting down um, uh, th feelings and old stories that are blocks because they engage with disbelief around your purpose. Um, it also can speak to resting in the knowing that it's already done. So whatever is in your highest good, whatever you are here to serve and do, that when you stand in your purpose, in spirit, in blood, in knowing, that it's done. So rest, stop worrying, dance, show that, dance. Be in your purpose. End of week. It's the dreamer card. Uh, it's your soul. In this deck, the dreamer represents us. It represents our soul. It represents our divine alignment and high, highest connection with our purpose, with our divine agreements, with what our soul came here to accomplish. And knowing that our soul wants to accomplish things on a spiritual and material plane, um, knowing that purpose, our, our soul wants us to grow in spirit, in life, in our ability to fly, right? It talks about family. Soon as I step off the train, there stand Miss Mama, David, Old Caney Sharp, the girl mama, Big Granny, and Delroy's, who Honeypot must have sent to drive the old people. We stand there, speak in silence then they get to moving me along with their canes and smiles. I feel like what this is speaking of is our soul's knowing 
that we are divinely supported, that we are standing in the blood and intentions and sacrifices and dreams and prayers and hard work of those that came before, and that our purpose matters. So be yourself, dance it out, keep working, stay focused, and know that you are loved and that you matter. All right, have a great week. Coming up, we're going to have some special guests do the readings, but I'll tell you more about that later. All right? Be well, be blessed, you're loved.